So something really cool with a really forgettable name hit the internet on November 30th, and I've been using it pretty much every day since then. This is called ChatGPT. ChatGPT is an AI that you can go to in your web browser for free, and you can give it tasks, ask it questions, and have it help you uh, research things or build computer code or entertain you. It's really, really phenomenal. I've never seen an AI that is this good. And I've been exploring pretty much the forefront of all AI for the past uh, couple of years. And this one blows my mind. <coughs> Excuse me. So ChatGPT is from a company called OpenAI. They're the same ones that made Dolly, which is one of the more famous image generator um, things where you type in a description of an image and it makes you one. You may have seen that, but this is something entirely new. So the website for it is chat.openai.com and you can go there and have it um, tell you all kinds of things. But one of the first tests I ran of it was um, I want to take this um, model airplane and put LEDs on its uh, wingtips and give it landing lights and make it blink like a real airplane. And to do that, I will use a little microcontroller called a Raspberry Pi Pico. And while I have the LEDs, I have the airplane and I have the microcontroller, my computer code skills are still at the point where I can write this code. It's just going to take me quite a bit of effort and there's a barrier of um, entry for me on this project. So I just went to ChatGPT and I said, I want to make my model airplane uh, have LEDs that blink and look like a real airplane. I have a Raspberry Pi Pico to control it. Give me the code to put on the Raspberry Pi to control the LEDs and make it look like a real airplane. And it actually gave me the code. And it uh, put in the code the comments where to change things to adjust things like the blink rate and um, it showed me how to expand it if I want to put different lights on it and all kinds of things like that. So um, that was pretty cool. I then asked it uh, a little bit more challenging of a coding question. I said, how would I go about building an AI to predict stock price? Because I have an interest in trading. I do some uh, trading, especially of uh, Tesla stock. And it described how to build an AI that predicts stock price. And I asked it to give me the code for each of the five steps that it listed. And I was like, all right, give me the code for step one. And it did. Give me the code for step two. And it did. And then I went and got some um, financial data from one of the financial data providers. And I just downloaded a big chunk of data to train it with. And I ran the training program. And it ended up creating an AI that was probably four or five dollars from reality most of the time on some on a stock that's like 180 to 220 is its normal uh, typical range lately. So something that's a couple of percent off uh, with just one try of an AI that was given to me by a different AI is pretty mind-blowing. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make with this yet. Uh, probably a lot of things, but ChatGPT is going to be my co-pilot for all kinds of cool creations, both in uh, the code side as well as in the content creation side. So um, tweets, video scripts, writing, I can use it to flesh out ideas, give me um, better elucidation on what I want to say. And uh, for the code stuff, it can actually help me with the code. And if I get errors, I can say I'm getting this error and it will tell me why. And if I want to expand the code to have more functionality, it'll tell me how to do that. So this is something that for people that are creative or um, coders or some kind of uh, engineer or builder, uh, loosely speaking, this is an incredibly powerful tool. Um, it can do anything from make recipes to create journal prompts to write Python code and many other kinds of code to uh, write entertaining stories in the style of your favorite author. So check out ChatGPT. Again, it is chat.openai.com. And let me know what you make with it. Um, there's 
your creativity is only limited. Go check it out. But this is mind blowing for me. Like the world has changed since November 30th. That's all I can say.